Hello, I am Najib from Algeria and this, uh, in this video I want to talk about the firing uh, rules in Petronet. Okay, so before I, I, I start, I hope that you uh, subscribe to my channel because that motivates me a lot to upload more and more videos about Petronet. So, for the the firing rules, so there is two things we must talk about. So we must talk about the fireability and the firing itself as an action. So the fireability here, for example, we say that uh, T one is fireable if we can fire it. So that's simple. But we can say that T one. Of course, here in this video, I will talk about the fire ability and the firing formally. Okay, but just l l let's uh, describe it uh, like that simply. Okay, uh, for example, here T1 is fireable. Why? Because here I have just two inputs to this to this uh, transition here. Uh, I have this input and this input. The weight of this input is one, and here I have one total. And here also the input is one and here I have one job. So this is fireable now. For this one here is not fireable. Why? Because this, so it needs one to be here and there is one. But here, in this case, in this input here, it needs two tokens to be here. And but here I just have one. So this is not fireable. So when I fire, when I fire T1. So I remove one token from this place and I remove one token from this place and I add so the outputs now I have this output and this output I I add one token here okay and I add the three tokens here So those are three tokens here excuse me So those are three tokens here so in this case here this is not fireable because it needs one to be here and we have three so we can use one of them but here with this input here we can't fire this because we need one but here we have zero token for this transition now it's fireable why because it needs one token to be here and there is one available here and it needs two to be here and there is three so we can use two so that's a fireable okay when we fire this when we fire this transition so we remove one token from this and two tokens from this it remains one okay and we add so for the outputs i have this output here so i put two tokens here okay so now there is no transition is fireable so let's try to talk about that formally okay so that's the initial marking okay so before we <coughs> we talk about the fire the fire ability let's talk about the fire ability and then we'll talk about the firing itself okay so let's introduce this uh, this notation when I say I for input PI to T I talk about the weight of the edge from PI to T for example when I say P3 T1 this equal 1 P3 to T1 okay so I uh, I, for example, excuse me, <coughs> uh, P2, or let's say, excuse me for that. So I, uh, P1 to T1, this equal zero because there is no edge between 
there is no input to T1 from P1, okay? So that's for this annotation. So first, at first, for the for the fireability, let's let's talk about the fireability uh, formally. So we say that T, a transition T, is fireable. Is fireable if and only if. So for all for all inputs pi pi that that's mean any any place to this transition t is different than zero here i mean that there is input there is an input to t from p1 okay so and and I pi to this transition t is great excuse me yes is less or equal than m pi okay what's that mean here I say that t is a variable if and only if for all here, pi to t different than zero. That means that there is an input from pi to t. That's what at me. What's what's that's what I I mean by i pi to t different of zero. That means that there is an input from pi to t. And this edge weight is less or equal than the marking of pi. Here, if this formal is this formal is achieved, that means that p that t is fireable. Okay. So for the firing, when we fire, what we do? So that's for the firing, uh, the fireability. So let's talk now for the firing. When we fire, what we do? Let's introduce an other notation. O. T I P I that means the output from T I to P I for example the output from T1 to P5 is equal 1 so T1 to P5 O T2 to P3 is equal 0 from this to this equals zero because there is no output from T2 to P3, okay? So that's for this annotation here, okay? When we fire what we do, excuse me? So when we fire, so firing T, so we must check that T is variable before. When we fire it, what we do, so for all, uh, so we must remove tokens uh, at first. So for all i, pi, pi, I mean any uh, place to t to this is different than zero. Okay? What we do here, because we checked already, we checked that T is, is fireable, okay? What we do here, we just make um, the marking of this P is equal, the marking of this P here, of this place, minus the, the weight of this input. Here we remove we remove the tokens from the input. Okay. Here, for example, we remove one from here, or we remove two from here. Okay. So and we add tokens to the output. Okay. So how to add? So how to add? Uh, 
uh, how to represent the adding of tokens to the output formally. So for all outputs of PG, let's talk about PG here because that's another set than this one here. For the input, for the output, we always talk about where uh, we specify the transition before the places. It's different than zero. That means that there is an output from T to PG. Okay. What we do, I just make this marking of PG equal the marking of PG itself plus the output, the weight of the output of PG. Okay. So if you have any uh, any comment, just put it in the comment the comment section below. And I hope that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you see that this video uh, deserve likes, your like, and see you later.